like uh, Ms. Gretchen said, when she came up, Ms. Carlton said when she came up, their term in office, <coughs> we want to thank you all. Uh, Ms. Gretchen, Dr. Tan, Representative uh, Sharper, we want to thank you for your service. Thank you for going to Atlanta, representing Lyons County uh, uh, last week. We appreciate it. Thank you for all your work that you've done. That position is now vacant. We now need to elect three, three new state committee members. Let's explain how this works. You could have four or five people nominated, but the top three people, the top three people will be the right one. And the way it will work, if, for example, uh, if a female gets, we got 21 people, if we have one person, whatever gender gets the most votes, that'll be the top seed. The next seed will have to be alternate, have to be a male, the top seed, if it's a female, the next one will have to be a female. And then the third one, then the third one will be the most vote getters, right? Is that right? If the top one was a female, yes. the second one would have to be male, right. and then the third one would be the top voter getter of either gender. Of either gender. Everybody understand that? And yeah. the only voters are the 21 members of the committee who are here. Oh no, we just yeah. filled two vacancies. The 23, however many are here. We have two more than we started out with. The 23. 23. 20. 23. Mr. Raper came in, made it 21. Okay. So now Ms. Lewis and Mr. Hampton be able to vote. So it'll be 23. Now we have two absent. JD and Dr. Marks are absent. Uh huh. Plus two. We have 24 voters. Okay. Everybody understand how this is going to work? Everybody will not vote? Just, just uh, those district reps, they'll be the ones that are doing the vote, the 23. Okay? Remember. So there will be no confusion when we count the ballots. The top getter, vote getter is a female. The second, second individual will have to be a male. Okay? And the third will be, the third person will be the highest vote getter out of the remainder. So we have four or five people running. So, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to our parliamentarian, them to hold this election. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess by the only thing I had to do now is ask for other ballots, but I work with the youth for ballots. So we have the panel and the rest of the procedure. Excuse me, are there any requirements for these positions? Excuse me? The requirements for that position? What are the requirements for these? Just be a member of the Democratic Party. Anybody, anybody, anybody can run. Okay. I don't see um, committee members, if you could just keep your hands raised, so anybody can run for this position. The ballot says vote for one, but it'll be vote for three. It'll be vote for three. Okay. <laughs> Point of clarification. Yes, sir. And uh, when we see who's interested in running, can we list those names and then pick one, two, three as our uh, selections? 
Make it easier to ca to count them. Yeah. Okay. Something <clears throat> like that. Okay, then we are ready for our nomination from the floor. Um, this is my first time trying this one, folks, so if I make a mistake, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Father, sir, sir, I would like to nominate uh, Deborah Tan. Would you come up front, please, Ms. Deborah Tan, the LLC? Mr. Um, Chopper? I'd like to nominate Gretchen Corwin. She would like to do it again. I, I would I would do it again. Mm -hmm. Jamie, I believe I'm sorry. I would like to nominate Dexter. Can anybody nominate people? Anybody, can nominate. anybody can be nominated for this deep position. I would like to nominate Deborah Tan. Can anyone nominate? She already did. Ma'am? Can anybody on the floor nominate someone or does it have to be the committee? No, ma'am. Anybody, anybody can nominate. Anybody. For the, for this, yeah. 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 anybody I'd, like, I'd like to nominate Tyler Tucker, member of VSU or whatever. Young, young Dems, anyway. He'd be yeah. a good representative. For Sam? Do you know? Tyler Tucker. All right, good. Tyler Tucker. Yeah. Tyler. All right. Any other nomination? Any other nomination? Point of clarification, we need a mail. <laughs> Excuse me? Do we need a do we need a, a guy? If we're gonna have a woman, don't we need a guy? Yes. We're gonna have three. Okay, so we got three women. No, you have two women. Dexter Sharper. You got two and two up here. So on the first you need. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. What we gonna do is put all Four of the names, one here, and we list like one, two. How are we going to vote when we're going to put all four of the names, one out, one down? Three. Three, you're going to write down three names that you want. Three, three, what three you want. Okay. On the ballot, you're right. What three you want on the ballot? Okay. Are they in the nomination? I move the nominations be closed. Tyler Tucker. Move and second that the nomination be closed on the four, four said uh, names. Is there any further discussion? Any other nominations? Hearing none, the motion to uh, close. Raise your right hand. The members, the committee members. The committee members, raise your hand. Right, only committee We're closing members. nominations. Only member, committee members will vote. Just go ahead and vote. Right on your paper. Uh, let's go through the name again. Uh, it's Gretchen Quarterman. We can step forward. Deborah Tan. Dexter, Sh uh, Dexter Sharper. And, and Tucker. Tyler Tucker. These are three people that's running. Right. Come close. We're going to make it out. Okay, uh, at this time, we need to open up the and have a word, Selfie. You want to say something? Uh, uh, my name is Gretchen Porterman. I have previously served as your state committee member. Um, I have previously served on the credentials committee. Um, and should I become reelected, I'm going to make every effort to get on state bylaws. Our state bylaws need to be changed um, in some ways that will help the local parties, and I hope to help to facilitate that. Greetings, everyone. Democrats, my name is Deborah Tan. I wish to run again. I have an expired position that I served for only three months. And so this time I would like to serve you for four years. And I would like to say, I, I took the time to put this board together. These are the Democrats that were elected. I'm going to send this around so you can see it. This is what Gretchen alluded to earlier today. But this, is, this allows you to put a face with a name. And I thought you might want to see this. And I think the median age is going to be about 40. But we elected a wonderful slate to serve us at the state party <coughs> the Democrats here in Georgia. 
The oldest person that we elected is 44 years old. Wow. And the youngest is 27. Oh, please, wow. then we got to take it. And I've also served here at the party um, for a very long time. I've served, I've served as a secretary before. I've poll watched for years, poll managed for years. So I've been serving the party faithfully. And I just want to say something that resonated with me when I went to the state party. And it was from, it's from a poet named Lila Watson. And I would like to share it with you this evening as you contemplate your vote. If you have come here to help me, you're wasting your time. But if you have come here because your liberation is tied up with mine, please let us work together. All right. All right. All right. All right, guys. So my name is Tyler Tucker. I'm a student at Valdosta State University. I'm a political science major. Um, I've been here in Valdosta for two years. I've been a member of the uh, county party for two years. I uh, currently work for uh, Valdosta State University as the Community Service mm -hmm. Coordinator. I mean, I'm also involved with um, the Valdosta Tree Commission here in Valdosta. Uh, love Valdosta, love being a Democrat, and I hope you all vote for me. Any one of these uh, candidates will be excellent to vote for, so thank you. Uh, State Representative Dexter Sharper, I represent District 177, uh, which is the majority of the city, 90% of the city in my district. I also served as a city councilman back in 2000 and became mayor pro tem. Uh, I would like to continue to serve you guys. Uh, it's a great position to uh, have to be able to serve you guys and represent you. And uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work when you have to do the state committee stuff because you have to stay informed with everything that's going on. And you have to make those travels. Uh, it's well worth it. And I've been, this is my seventh year uh, as a state representative, but I would like to have your support again to serve you. Thank you. Okay, if everyone would just go ahead and pick pick three. And yeah, we'll pass. I need some about two volunteers to count the uh, this grant. Would you like me to collect the ballots on my way? I need another volunteer to count uh, the ballots. Ms. James, thank you. Okay. Do I have all the ballots from committee members?
Oh, excuse me. What's, what's happened? Did you hear the names of the candidates? Well, all the candidates come back up, please. Like, what's, what's happened? This is Deborah Tan. This is Mrs. Tucker. Okay, okay. He didn't hear the name, guys. I apologize for that. He didn't hear the name. Can you guys introduce yourself again for Mr. Hampton? He didn't hear you guys' names. Deborah Tan. Deborah Tan. I'm all here. Gretchen Quartermaster. Uh, Tyler Tucker. Oh, Dexter Sharp. Thank you. 